you might also face the same issue if you're trying to import your DXF file into your ETABS. So how do we circumvent this problem? So this is the doubt that one of my students had asked me uh, on email just last night. It has been just 15 hours ago. So he sent me his files and he was like, so he's not able to import the files into his ETABS. How do we do this? So I'll provide this file to you as always. You can just come to the study materials section. You can find the file over here. I've uploaded the beam file also. Okay, it looks something like this with uh, all you to practice files. You have to come here. You will get this practice file also. You will be able to import the file into your ETABS for practice purposes only. So coming back to the problem at hand, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go to the file option. Okay, after going to the file option, you can go to the import option. And instead of going to your floor plan as you, as you, as you always go to, go for the architectural plan option instead. Okay, basically what the error you're getting is you're not able to read the data. Whatever DXF file you have created, the ETAB is not able to pull the data for the floor plan option. So we go for the architectural plan option. That is the alternative of the floor plan. We go there. We open up the file, whatever the file they have, uh, whatever file we want. Then we go for meters. If you notice here, we are not going to have any layers that we select. Okay. If you come to the file option and go to the import and go to the floor plan option, you get the layers option. Okay. Let me just show it to you for a second. See, this is all the layers that you get. All right. So in the layers option, what happens? Sometimes it doesn't, it is not able to pull the data out. And if you see here, we have got some extra options in ETAPS 21. This is not there in the previous versions of ETAPS. Okay. So avoid the whole layer option altogether. Just go to file, go to your import option. In the import, come down to the architectural plan option. Here, just select the file that you have created, DXF, then open this file. And then you can directly go for your what? You can go for your uh, meters option, whatever is the, the units that you have your drawing file in go for that Re leave the rest of things alone just click on ok and you'll be able to import the file in whichever floor that you have selected now after you have imported it what is supposed to do see you will not be able to select this line or something or okay but what you can do is you can definitely select the tool uh, for example for the sake of explanation i'll go for the all storage option and i'll just draw this from here to Okay, so you can see they'll come like that. Again, what you can do is, I didn't maintain the proper node points. You can maintain the node points and you can draw it. All right. But if you're trying to use architectural plan option, just make sure that your beams are not breaking anywhere as such. This beam is going from here to here. So it has to be like this. It has to break here. Okay. So draw it from here to here first, then from here to here. Or what you can do, well, drawing itself, you can just come over here. Okay. Just select the node point very carefully. Then come and draw till this point. Then come here and draw till this point like this okay when you place your columns and everything at that point you have to be a bit careful because you see we don't place columns like this in our ETAPs. we directly place it on the the, the uh, cross section point intersection point right so you can go for your quick draw column option and you can just uh, come over here this is just the other thing do we have anything in rcc yes we have okay just come over here and just directly place it over here this point now the question might come how do i get all this uh, you know uh, snapping options for that right click and you can come here, you can read all these options. In this, you'll find snap options here. The last third option, go for this. And joints have selected and grid intersections have selected. If you want, you can select the entirety of it. Okay. This will help you to snap around easily. All right. So do this much, your work will be done. What are you supposed to do? See, we're circumventing the problem, not solving it as such. Okay. What we do, instead of going for the floor plan option, we have gone for the architectural plan option. And as always, uh, one more very important announcement was there. See, this is in the study material section. I'll add the file. Okay, last time I forgot to add the BM file. I'll add it up. Don't worry. The DXF file I'll add. You can import it directly and you can try it out. Uh, one more thing is uh, in the ETAPS if an RCDC course, what I have done is I have added four hours of content now. So ETAPS 21 version, I have taken an IIT project and I have created four hours of additional content. Okay, this is a free update for everyone who's already a part of the course. All right. So uh, the problem that students were facing was they were not able to generate the submission drawings. Okay. If you come to my channel also, I have talked about uh, the column submission drawing, right? But there is beam, there is slab. Okay. So how do you generate the submission drawing for those even for the footings? Okay. How do you do that? So the one entire project from start to finish, you will get. This is the four hours of free update that I have added to the ATAP Safe and RCDC course only. Okay. You can come and check it out. Again, we have got the coupon codes here. You can just apply the coupon code from here and it will become 999. Again, this is not a direct price or of sale. There are a handful number of uh, coupon codes. Once the coupon codes are over, you will not see this coupon code option at all. Okay. So just make the make sure of the opportunity when it is there and come and check out the content over here. All right. So that's all for this class. See you guys in the next class. Thank you.